What's going on, man? It's your boy A1 back again. The Stars Gaming. I'm breaking down the player ratings. Uh, they just came out. Uh, I'm not putting out crazy content of the same videos that you're going to see over and over again and just keep talking over. We're going to talk about whatever we're getting from EA, and I'm just going to run with that until the game comes out. Uh, I'm just moving that leaving forward. We got a lot of views dropping. Check out the new overlay. We're out here. We got Adidas, Body Armor, uh, Muscle Milk, uh, Stars, you know, SoCal out here in Anaheim, Stars Gaming. Uh, follow us at SoCal Esports. Hit us subscribe. Um, show some support, man. We're putting out information, good information about teams, what I do. I want you guys to see the storyline on how this is going to go down. If you watch the story, like, from now until what's going to happen uh, towards, like, the end of, like, the Madden season, uh, you're going to be intrigued. I'm um, putting out a lot, of, a lot of good stuff, a lot of content for y'all. When you're playing with him in the middle, in the middle of the field, so be careful. Be be on the lookout for Luke Keekley. He's going to be out there uh, from a defensive aspect on Madden and in the NFL. Just so, just be ready. Um, we also have Gerald McCoy. We brought him in from um, <clears throat> the Buccaneers, and he's going to come in and fill in that three-four spot for that three technique. And he's going to be playing that solid with Kawan Short. Uh, we'll have a Kawan Short and Gerald McCoy playing those three techniques in their three-four scheme. It's going to be super dangerous up front. Um, I expect Luke Keekley to have a um, literally an NFL like defensive player of the year type of uh, defense. And then also having Poe, too, in there in the middle. So their three interior guys are going to be Poe, which you guys know about, uh, from Kansas City. Jerry McCoy, Kawan Short. It's going to be a quality up front just off the fact that they have to respect everybody the line of scrimmage. Um, they brought in Bruce Urban, too, as well. Uh, I forgot the name of the guy they drafted. Let's check him out real quick. Um, <laughs> Brian Burns, I believe he's from Florida State. He's coming in with 88 speed off the edge. And Bruce Irving with 86. Uh, they will be dangerous. <laughs> they will be dangerous when it comes to their 3-4 scheme. And what's going to happen is what I see with this team is on the offensive end, I'm comfortable with them. But on the defensive side of the ball, down the line, you're going to notice how um, <clears throat> our three hogs up front, uh, Kwan Short, McCoy, um, what's it called, Poe, they're going to make things easier for the outside guys like Irvin, uh, Keek, uh, what's it called, Irvin, uh, Burns, um, Addison too as well. Don't sleep on him. Uh, they're going to have depth up front, and it's going to be dangerous. What I, what I plan on seeing is down the line at Madden, uh, they're going to be bumping up the overalls of their DBs because their DBs aren't the best DBs out in the world. But down the line of scrimmage with this pass rush that they have coming up front, uh, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with inside the, um, the NFC. Uh, mark more words on that. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, so we got those guys up front. Uh, Dante Jackson, he's going to fill in. He's played a solid year. He's got 95 speed. He definitely can help out from a safe plane and put him at safety or put him at corner. You know you're going to be locked down. You will not be beat over top with Dante Jackson out there. Um, also, James Bradbury, always been a solid corner. They always underrate him, in my opinion. But, like, um, I feel like in Madden, he can play. He'll be he'll be pretty solid, either in safety or you keep him at corner. Um, so your corners are going to be on lockdown. And, again, we got Don Terry Poe po right here with the 78. Uh, Interior-wise, he's fine. I wouldn't necessarily worry about him. He's got 73 speed. All your D linemen up front have like 70 speed for like interior guys, which is pretty fast um, and kind of dangerous for interior rushers to be coming. And this defense is kind of, I know you don't want to say it, but this defense is fast. Like they got Keekly. They're going to have Shaq Thompson at the middle linebacker too as well. Um, as I got rid of um, Thomas Davis, um, they got some fast dudes. The outside backers at 86, 88. Um, they're going to be moving right into the ball. They're going to be slanting. If I'm playing with the team in a 3-4 scheme, I'm slanting my D-line, and I'm making sure I play soft backside like Shaq Thompson. Um, it's going to be dangerous. I'll slant away from Luke Keekley to help him out, uh, have him kind of do his own thing. But it will be dangerous. I repeat, this defense will be dangerous next year. Uh, so be on the lookout. Uh, strong safety. We're going to have Ed Eric Reed back there. who's pretty solid, prospecting to have a better year. Um, this year, and then our strong safety position, we're going to be a little bit lacking. I mean, the best thing we got back there is Colin Jones. I recommend putting Seymour 
um, in at cornerback or putting in um, where's that guy Cockrell, uh, Ross Cockrell. I recommend putting those guys in if you really need to have like some DBs because they're a little bit faster. Um, but we're we're gonna lack on the back end until the season like starts pushing. But you can run four two five, uh, three three five will work well. Three three five base, three four four three. Um, you can run pretty much any defense with the Carolina Panthers, which will cause really a, a lot of problems for your guys' um, opponents up front just because of the fact that you can give them so many looks from a defensive standpoint that's going to drive an offense crazy, coming out of 40 fronts, 30 fronts, twist, stunts, uh, 3, 12. you got to make sure you take care of the back end. So if you're playing with the Carolina Panthers, I recommend that you use her the safety and you take care of the stuff in the back end. Let Dante Jackson and Bear Bear and Eric Reed do the best they can. Um you gotta hold. You gotta. You gotta end up using. You gotta use their safety because on the front end, you got nothing to worry about. Now let's talk about the offense. Uh, talk about the offense, man. It, the word that expletives for the Carolina Panthers is explosive. Uh, I expect to use the RPO if I'm coming with the team read option, um, vertical pass games. Uh, you can dictate a lot of the coverage with the speed they have, and then also you keep in mind you got your safety blank, blanket and uh, Greg Olson. Uh, it might be Greg Olson coming down to his last years, but he's coming down in with 89. Got McCaffrey 91, 91 speed. He McCaffrey's a dog. You can even him out the backfield, use him, use him whatever. You just get get McCaffrey the ball. Um, that's my goal if I'm playing with this team. From the offensive line aspect, we got some dudes up front too. They brought in Matt um, Matt Perez, Perez from um, I'm not sure where he came from, but they brought him in and he's at 88 overall. Uh, I know before they had Cal, Cali, so Cal, Cal whatever his name is, or God, um, but they had him in there, and this is a, definitely a bump up from that center position. And we got Cam Newton, and he's coming in at a he's coming in at 84, 85 speed. I feel like that's kind of disrespectful for Cam, but I mean, Cam Cam's gonna be Cam, and Cam's gonna perform. Uh, I recommend using him for like again RPOs, and with this team, you can really dictate the coverages with DJ Moore, and then as you can see, um, Curtis Samuel uh, with the 95 speed. So you got some speed out there, and then you have your safety blankets too from the wide receiver position with Chris Hogan and Torrey Smith. Either of those guys can play like the number three um, or not, but you got speed out there. You got explosiveness. So if I'm playing with the Carolina Panthers, I'm wrapping my offense around Samuel. I'm dictating coverage with Samuel. I'm getting the ball to DJ Moore, and I'm uh, also running the ball with McCaffrey, and I'm hitting him with the RPOs, and I'm trying to stretch the field. And again, I want to dictate, uh, dictate coverages with – Curtis Samuel. The reason I would dictate coverages with Curtis Samuel because you can guard a 93 uh, speed rate receiver, but a 95, that's when you, the 95 is when this, you know, stuff gets real uh, from the receiver standpoint. Uh, with the old line, uh, not only do we have a pretty solid center, we have a decent old line. Uh, Taylor Moden came in and filled in last year. Um, their DBs are fine. Uh, so Taylor Moden's going to be pretty solid and the back end could protect him like the, uh, the backside. Darrell Williams, um, he's going to be okay in there too, and also Trey Turner. Expect that old line to play well together as they're both all everybody's coming in healthy. Uh, Gandalf's got a leg. Michael Parley, I haven't really heard much from him, but um, I mean, you don't you shouldn't be wanting to really to punt when you are playing that, and you kind of want to score points. Uh, so again, dictate the coverage with Curtis Samuel. Uh, get the ball to your playmakers like DJ Moore, McCaffrey, and they run it through Cam. But you got to dictate coverages. You know, put them everywhere in the slide and wherever you need to get them, so you can. Uh, uh, just dictate coverage and create big plays. Uh, from the, that's pretty much it when it comes to like their team. Um, they got Ian Thomas come in there and play backup. What's it called? Uh, tight end. But for the most part, like I said, that's what they got. Colin Jones can come in there and play too as well. Um, but they're pretty fine up front. And then the DBs are going to be what you're going to have to um, definitely work in. And I'm not seeing any like. Um, I'm looking for some safeties that maybe you can plug in. It might be a little fast, um, but I'm not necessarily seeing that. Uh, like a high, like 91 maybe, but they don't necessarily have that. Um, they're definitely focused on the interior pass, what they got going on in there. So, um, yeah, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Um, continue to subscribe. Show your support. Uh, thank you, honestly. Um, we're going to continue to put out content. Uh, your boy, anyone is out.